With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is, a body is executing simple harmonic motion at a displacement x, its potential energy is given as E1 and a displacement y, its potential energy is given as E2. The potential energy E at a displacement of x plus y is, now we know that in simple harmonic motion, the potential energy is given by the formula E equals to, the potential energy is given by half m omega square x square where m is the mass omega is angular velocity and x is the displacement so this is the formula of potential energy in simple harmonic motion now in the question they are saying that in x in x displacement the energy is e1 so i can write e1 that is equals to if i assume that m omega square is constant because mass and angular velocity is same so m omega square is constant that is k so i can write e1 that is equals to half k x square this is in x direction suppose this is my equation 1 and this is the this is, this is for displacement x similarly for displacement y the energy is e2 and that can be written as half k y square suppose this is my equation 2 so from equation 1 i can calculate the value of x from equation 1 I can calculate the value of displacement x and that is equals to root of 2 e1 upon k similarly from equation 2 I can calculate the value of y displacement y so y equals to root of 2 e2 upon k now they are asking about the energy e is the energy e at a displacement x plus y that means i can write the energy for displacement x plus y that is equals to half k and displacement is x plus y square so from here the value of x plus y similarly x plus y can be calculated as this is the displacement and that is equals to root 2e upon k now we have the value of x as well as the value of y we have individual value of x and y so we, i will put value of x and y in this equation so i will have x is root 2 e1 upon k similarly the value of y is root of 2 e2 upon k and that is equals to under root of 2 e upon k now as you can see 2 and k is cancel out because it is common in all three steps all three steps so i will have root e1 plus root e2 that is equals to root e this is the relationship of potential energy e e1 and e2 e1 is the potential energy for displacement x e2 is the potential energy for displacement y and e is the potential energy for displacement x plus y so let's check the options the option is root e1 plus e2 is the correct answer root e1 plus e2 so this is actually root of e1 plus e2 the first option in which they are not giving root root of e1 plus e2 is the correct option okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today